What's going on guys? Fun with Knives back again. And I got something pretty interesting for you today. This is the Best Tech, Best Tech Min, Good Boy. And it is surprising. So I got this for free from Blade HQ because they were running a promo. It was like their 21st anniversary sale or something. And this was a free knife you got if you spent over a certain amount. So this shipped with a bunch of other Spydercos. Um, wasn't expecting much. I know literally nothing about Best Tech or Best Tech Men as a brand. Camping, hunting, outdoor, everyday gear, lifetime warranty. You can see the, this is D2 steel, we're over that in a second. So uh, I kind of unboxed this. I'm not thinking of even really doing a video. And I was like, oh, I gotta put that back in the box. This is very interesting. So. Let's do some specs, and I want to give you guys some initial thoughts before I get to start carrying this thing. So, um, I believe this is a Blade HQ exclusive. I don't know that for certain, that particular colorway. What does this say? Fumble with the paperwork. No, we don't need to look at that. Okay. So, this is the Good Boy, and I believe, if I can open it, this brand is Best Tech, or maybe it's Best Tech Man. I don't know, Best Tech Man? So little, no research, just kind of off the cuff here of what I thought, but specs on this guy, overall length, 8.19 inches. So kind of full size folder for me. Uh, your blade thickness here is 0.13 inches. Your handle length is 4.65 inches. That blade length, I was reading that wrong here, is 3.65. This one is a drop point, obviously with an interesting grind up front. Satin finish on that D2. I believe it says D2 somewhere on the, the flat here. That's kind of hidden. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see that there. You got blue thumb studs. Some crazy jimping up top. A crowned stonewashed spine. Um, your handle material here is G10. Some contouring around the edges milling cuts for some some grip or just some flare uh, a reversible pocket clip tip up only got recessed hardware there nice little ramp shouldn't catch on a lot and decent retention two standoffs in the back small lanyard hole and it is a button lock so none of that was particularly surprising i think for the price point of this knife which is normally around 50 or 55 but there is a lot going on here in the details that was pretty shocked about. So some of those details were just the fit and finish on this thing seems very good. Obviously this is preliminary, I haven't carried it, but the action is solid. It's nice and smooth, it deploys well. The lockup for your standard kind of plunge button lock is rock solid. You got a satin finished blade with a compound kind of spanto grind. It's kind of like a spear point drop point with some added rigidity heat here at the tip. So kind of a complex grind with a crowned spine and a different finish than the satin blade. It's stonewash if that's coming through, but it's nice and kind of curved, kind of crowned over the whole thing. And that uh, stonewashed, um, finish also applies to the flats of the knife, which are almost completely hidden, which is an odd touch. You got nice machine jimping there. Not aggressive, but grippy enough. Also, your handle scales here are pretty well done. They're, these corners here on each of these are decently sharp. You don't really feel them in hand. Um, you can see there's a kind of 90 degree angles though. But the ergos are nice and neutral. Obviously not a crazy shaped handle but it feels good in the hand. Um, I might've forgot the uh, handle thickness here, but Blade HQ doesn't have that listed, so we'll just skip it. Uh, pocket clip seems well done with recessed screws. Centering seems good. So for a knife brand, I really don't know anything about. I've, I mean, I've heard of this brand, but I wasn't expecting much from a freebie knife that is MSRPing or at least being sold on Blade HQ for 50 bucks, but I am thoroughly impressed. I'm excited to carry this thing. Uh, it's not something I probably would have normally bought, but just as a quick comparison and probably a little too early, uh, this is the Civivi Conspirator, I believe. 
This has a better detent, better action, more secure lock, and no lock stick as compared to this knife, which was, I think, 80 at the time when I got it. And I like this quite a bit. This knife's good in a lot of ways, but this one seems like it's better built. I don't know. So I don't know if uh, Best Tech's on the rise or I'm just um, kind of out of the loop about them, but I'm pretty pumped about this knife. So hopefully it continues to impress as I start to carry it and use it. This listed on Blade HQ site is the Best Tech Knives, Best Techman, Good Boy. So that's kind of like, this is the Spyderco Knives, Spyderco Min, Bad Boy. And for whatever reason, it's got Keanu on this side. So that must be the designer's name, but this is the, I'm guessing Keanu designed Best Tech Knives, Best Tech Men, Good Boy. So a little ridiculous, but might be a winner. So thanks for watching guys. And remember, have fun with your knives.